questions? I'll just open this up, yeah. Okay, are you running Windows or Windows Pro because of basically updates and how those screw with you? Yes, um, so personally, I disable updates because they cause instability. Yeah, right? so are you running Windows Pro then? Yeah, so Windows 10, right? Updates <laughs> always off. Um, I know that there's issues with security, but my network is decently locked down. You know, do information security for a job. So I'm, mm -hmm. I'm pretty decent as far as that goes. You said you go you, you're going to do how many more of this rigs? About 19. 19. Yeah. All at the same facility, like at kind of home-based yeah, sure, setup? Right? No, nice. not, not nice. in terms of the address, but in terms of the power supply like you have a hundred sure. amp let, let's say at home right yeah or 200 amp yes so i'm just thinking let's say at home you have about 60 of it used on a constant basis right so are you going to use another 40 because this is 10 amp you said yes so it gives you i don't know on the 20 amp breaker you can run two of these right i don't no. do that no and i'll <laughs> tell you why i don't run two on a 20 amp breaker because that's cutting it too close so 15 one that's right okay. so 30 amp I, I use a 30 amp breaker right and then uh, I run two rigs on that 30 amp breaker 30 amp cable <laughs> yes that's right so one cable rated for 30 amps yeah. and then I split it off into separate outlets yeah. right and then I run one rig on each outlet if so, that makes sense so back yeah. to my question would you sure. be able to run it on all in the same facility on a hundred amp uh, panel or no? Not well. It's you Not could, that, but no, you wouldn't no. be able to run 19 of them yeah. okay. on the same 100 amp. So, but I have a 200 amp service okay. that I'm going to be using for the, the 19 rigs, um, and that is okay. Um, well, I think we'll try 16 first, and then we'll slowly <laughs> go up and see where we're at. Um, but uh, but yeah, the optimization has been really fantastic as far as things go. Um, I've seen consistent results across multiple rigs, not just the ones that I have, but also other ones of friends and um, everything like that. So it's been great. Uh, yes, just this a comment, but one thing I, sure. I've put up is I, for my main panel is I've put up a search protector on the whole panel. Yeah. And then that way you don't have to worry about you know, where you've got it. Okay. Yep. So maybe that's the next step you could take. Absolutely. Yeah. Yep. Absolutely. It, it definitely is. You know what? I, I, I may even have it there um, right now. I'm not too certain. But I'm not a le an electrician, but I do know enough to get these things up and running and then wire. So, yeah. yeah shoot. So since you're not running the 19 yet, you said you have some friends. So what I'm wondering about is back to his question. Do you know anybody who's running around those numbers of rigs out of a residential address and not mm -hmm. having problems with the bylaws? Yes. For how long? Very long time. Like just approximately, like I, I don't know what they do. Let's, okay, let's. Just a few years, four or five? Yeah, like we'll, we'll, we'll see four, four, we'll four or five. Four or five years at a residential in a city address? Yes. And 20 over rigs? Yes. But like different rigs, different cards, and everything like that. But that's as much as information as I can give you on that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, um, so, uh, so these, these cards are scarce, we can't get them anytime soon, let's say? You know what? Um, okay, so I'll give you guys a little bit of insider info on the cards, right? Um, you guys can get the cards um, pretty soon because what's going to be happening with them is um, the other developers, right? So like XFX and Asus and everything like that, they're actually producing their own revisions of the cards. And they're going to be released sometime between now and March, right? So you guys can keep your eyes open on that. But basically, there'll be custom cards with um, uh, different cooling methods and different clock rates and stuff like that. Um, so they're coming, but that's all the knowledge that I can give. How much heat, heat does this? <laughs> could you could you speak up? I don't know if you have a bunch of Okay, so I'll, I'll uh, re-announce her question there. So she said, uh, won't people think, won't people think that you're growing pot or something like that in your residence because you're drawing so much power? Yeah. Now, the thing is, it doesn't bother me to, uh, for, for officials to come in and inspect my residence 
um, for miners. That doesn't bother me. Um, yes, I'm consuming power, but you know, I can consume it for whatever I want. Right? As long as it's legal. This isn't like doing this isn't illegal. Like you know, if if we go to CRA, right? Um, what are the laws of taking your funds and depositing them in your account, right? And, and all that jazz. Well, it basically just works as an investment. So whatever cryptos I make, okay, I throw them into Quadriga, okay, and then I withdraw them into my account. Basically, how it works is, fifty percent of it is taxable as income. The other fifty percent is free and clear. So it works just like a regular tax, or, or sorry, a regular investment um, using okay. capital gains, right? Mm -hmm. So if I make uh, 20 grand, to keep this easy, if I make 20 grand of profit off of this and with, with no initial investment, right? 50% uh, of it is tax free and 50% of it is counted as income. How much heat does this create? Can you uh, heat your house with it or? <laughs> you know what? You can power, actually. Uh, power, sorry, to interrupt. Their power always 100% converts. So, yeah. like, it's watts for watts, right? So, if it generates 1,000 watts, it's equivalent to a 1,000 watt heater running. Yeah. 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 That, okay, so, so her question was um, basically, uh, for some exchanges, when you buy Bitcoin or Ethereum or you transfer them over, um, you get charged uh, the provincial tax or the state tax right then and there when you do the transaction. So as I understand it, that is based on the, uh, that's based on the exchange, right? Um, but for the exchanges that I use, so Binance, Cryptopia, um, and also Quadriga CX, I use those exchanges mainly, uh, as well as Bitrix. I actually have the links on my site um, for those exchanges, if you guys want to use those. Um, and for those exchanges, I've never had that issue where they tax me based on where the exchange is located. It's only transaction fees only. Yeah, yeah, just transfer fees, um, and then the exchange also gets a, a very small percentage uh, as well because they're running the operation. Yeah. Um, anybody else? Over, yeah. Sure. What are you using for video drivers? Like just a for car drivers or? Oh, for the. GPUs? Oh, for the drivers for these? Yeah. So for these, that's actually a really good question. I'm glad you asked. Um, so the drivers that I'm using for these are the experimental blockchain drivers from August 23rd. They are downloadable from the AMD website. And I also actually, on the, on the video that I uploaded on these, on uh, software guide on how to build them and everything like that, um, I actually have a link to the, uh, the driver software I use, which is in the software package in the description of the video. Everything's available there. Uh, in, instead of us, you know, trying to find each video card or whatever graphic card is, are you arranging a group if we were to, you know, purchase them in bulk or whatever? Or can something like that be done through Crypto Nuts so that we can? Ooh, <laughs> that, that's a question. <laughs> <laughs> crypto Nuts questions I can't answer directly okay, because sorry. I'm not a representative. Sure, sure. I'm just a performer. So, <laughs> presenter. <laughs> presenter. There you go. That's even better. Toss the yeah. regular guy. So yeah, you would have to talk to Kevin and uh, maybe Stacy about that. But yeah. Okay. Um. Anybody else? How long do you predict that uh, your current profit ratio will sustain? And do you suspect that at some point you'll have to jump to another uh, early? Cryptocurrency to maintain that profitability. Profit rate. Okay, so I, I really like that question. That that was fantastic. Um, so basically, um, I think this will be profitable for for quite a while um, because again, uh, ETN is, is low right now, and as ETN goes up in price, right, I'm still mining and and I'm still maintaining. Uh, decent profitability as long as the difficulty doesn't skyrocket and shoot through the roof. But if, say, it does, then that's exactly what I would do. I would switch to another coin that um, uses the CryptoNight algorithm. Yeah. And how many use the CryptoNight algorithm? Is it like a pretty big chunk? Yeah, yeah. So, so like Monero uses the same algorithm. Right. Um, uh, ETN uses the same algorithm. Uh, Sumo Coin uses the same algorithm. Pretty sure. Um, and there's several others out there. Yes. Yeah. What are some good sites to to know, you know, what you should be mining and maybe 
Uh, okay, like please. profit calculation <laughs> things. So you know, everyone wants to know how much money it's going to earn. What are some yeah. good resources for that? Yeah. So, so profit calculators are usually pretty accurate, but in some cases they're not. Um, but the profit calculators that I use is, uh, I, I really like uh, what to mine. Uh, that's a really popular one. I also like my crypto buddy. So literally, if you just pop them into Google, it'll, uh, it'll be right there. The profit calculators, um, they're pretty on point as far as that goes. And then in some cases, you actually have to calculate your profit on your own, right? And that, I find, is the most reliable because you're pulling direct statistics um, from the pool that you're mining at, assuming you're using a pool. Um, anybody else? Yeah? What are we going to expect in part two in two weeks from now? That's, uh, yeah, that's great. Okay, so uh, provided everybody um, is happy with the performance, you know, everybody got a decent amount of information here, um, what I'm going to do is do a software guide on this. So I will show, show you guys how I configured the software. Um, I'll pull up a, a Word document guide that I've created on the whole situation with screenshots and everything like that. Um, and uh, I'll basically walk you guys through uh, how it's all done and how I'm generating the profit and how I calculate it. So that's two weeks from now. Yeah. Obviously you seem to know a little bit more than uh, the majority of us here about <laughs> the mining and everything. How come these cards versus some S9 or different algorithm mining and stuff like that? Okay, so <laughs> this in, is in, great. A simple, in the simple words. <laughs> okay, to be to be very simple uh, in, in in layman's terms, I choose these cards because they can be heavily optimized, right? Based on the firmware that is on the cards and based on their design, right? Not all cards can be heavily optimized in this way. So they can be optimized uh, as such by using specific um, drivers that have been developed spe specifically for these cards, right, and other cards of the same model. Um, so that's, that's the driver version. They also support um, really fantastic uh, BIOS flashing, right, so for the RX 56s, these are RX Vega uh, 64s right here. Um, but the 56s also support uh, fantastic flashing, which allows you to get really nice hash rates. Right, and I have that all explained in my software guides as well. And on top of that, they overclock really nicely. And um, <coughs> while you're pulling the fantastic hash rates by having a higher memory clock, um, the power consumption you can drop down really low while still having a high memory clock. Right. So total power consumption, you drop it, and then memory clock, you up it. So you're literally working on inverse sides of the scale, and the cards are still operating the as they should. What's the hash rate? Hmm? What is the hash rate? 1950. Nice. Yeah. So times that by six, and um, if you put that into a pool calculator, you'll know how much ETN you generate okay. a day. Yeah. For the signs, they're not configurable. They use a hell of a lot of power because I'm running two of them right now. They're noisy as hell. Those are the cons. <laughs> Those are the major cons. They're also limited on the number of coins you can actually mine with them as well. Yes. If we're doing a verse between like ASIC <coughs> miners and GPU miners, we could have a very long talk about that. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Are there sites or resources available where you can evaluate the, um, uh, you know, uh, how good of a card it is or how well it's performing? Yeah. 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 Like you mentioned, you like these cards because of optimization. Yes. Like obviously, you must have gone somewhere and read that these cards were good for that, right? Yes. So you didn't just discover that by trial and error, right? No. Yeah. Okay. No. So yeah, so I do a lot of research on these things, and you know, um, scrolling around, uh, watch some videos on YouTube, right? And I saw that this was possible, and, and I actually found the initial post on Reddit, right? So I went on Reddit, and. Uh, this guy was saying, yeah, this is the software mod I did. Here is the instructions. So follow these to the letter and you'll get the same performance, right? Follow them to the letter with some minor adjustments, right? Tweak it for automation and everything like that. And then sure enough, um, I had something that was performing exactly what he was saying. And then I did further modification and I got something a little better. So, yeah. So, Jake, um, yeah. just thinking of. 
tech issue on, you know, so you got, what, six cards there? Yep. Now, most of the activity stays on the card. It's only when they actually find something that it, it sends a message to the motherboard. Sorry, you don't have a whole bunch of traffic between the card and the motherboard, do you? Most of the most of the crunching is on the on the, on the card, and it, only every now and then does the motherboard get a message, correct? Well, not necessarily. Like again, this is a very long conversation that we could have. So the question there was, um, does like how often does the graphics card communicate with the motherboard, right? Well, it has to uh, a lot <laughs> throughout the entire operation, and the reason why that is is. Um, Basically, the, <laughs> the calculations happen um, from the processor to the mining software, right? And then all of that data is stored on the hard drive, right? So your operating system runs on your hard drive, right? <coughs> um, your mining software is on your hard drive. So now that data gets sent from your hard drive through the channels on your motherboard, right? And then to your processor, your processor interprets that information fires it back out um, to your graphics card, and then your graphics card fills up the VRAM, so the video RAM, and then once it's done filling that up, it fills up the RAM on the board, and then once that's done, then you're looking at using virtual memory on your hard drive. So the answer to that question is, there's communication constantly to the motherboard um, because it has to get to the hard drive in order to understand what it has to calculate. Yeah. Are you dual mining right now? Dual mining. Um, okay, so like doing decred or, or things like that. Yeah. yeah, no, I'm not. I, I strictly do um, ETN because I find that if I dual mine, um, my power consumption does that. So, so yeah. Dual, sorry, dual mining is also restricted to the software available. Yeah. And what algorithm you're mining. Yeah. Yeah. How big a hard drive do you need? Um, you know what? I get away with about uh, 160 gig hard drives. Um, for this implementation, I used 120 gig solid state. Uh, you can get away with that. I've heard of some people actually using flash drives, like 32 gig, 64 gig flash drives, and running off of that. I wouldn't recommend that because the silicone that's used on the chips um, can quickly melt away from the constant reading and writing. Right? Heats up quickly. So. Um, anyways, uh, I think I'll wrap up this performance there because I think I can take questions all night for the most part. <laughs> but uh, I'll leave it at that and um, yeah, thanks a lot. <laughs>